Hello, my name is Amos Bertolacci. I am professor of history of medieval philosophy at the IMT School for Advanced Studies in Lucca, Italy. Well, at the time, I had just finished since a few days my last year of university and I was preparing my MA dissertation. As Europe and the world was taking important decisions for its future, I was also taking important choices for my professional life, since I decided, I decided to focus my dissertation on the topic of philosophy across borders, which would have accompanied me in the years to come. Well, as a child, I, I dream, dreamt to become a physician. I did not become a physician in the real sense of the word, but nonetheless, being an historian, I am a particular kind of physician nonetheless. My patient is not a real person, but it is the past, which I try to keep alive and to keep safe in order to allow it to provide its lesson for, for the present. So, not a physician of persons, but a physician of ages, common experiences and the past. Well, the world broken by my, by my research is well represented in the illustration that you can see in the slide. In it, you see Aristotle at the center of a group of seven scholars, the new group of the seven sages of antiquity. Three Greek scholars at the right, two Arab scholars at the left, together with the Christian friar, probably Thomas Aquinas. The two Arabs are Averroes in yellow and Avicenna in red. This illustration was made in Venice in 1483 by an unknown illustrator. It is important that at the same time the Turks were approaching the walls of Vienna, not far from Venice. Nonetheless, in Venice, the relationship between Christians and Muslims were portrayed in peaceful and fruitful terms. It is very important for my research the book in the hand of Avicenna. This book was written originally in Arabic, was soon translated into Latin and later into Persian, and it spread in manuscript form all over the Muslim world from Andalusia until India. It is the book on which my project on Avicenna focuses. So the wall abated are those of the religious confrontation between Christianity and Islam, the bridge is that of a philosophical lay culture imprinted on Aristotle. This is important in order to show that the Middle Ages are, from, are far from a dark age of history, are rather, on the contrary, a very brilliant and luminous age in which dialogue among different cultures in the name of philosophy was performed. Well, my research documents how the Latin translation was made on the basis of the diffusion of the Arabic manuscripts of Avicenna. So, in the project, I show how many manuscripts of this work exist in the world, when they were copied, where they are uh, preserved, and which is their genealogy. The project is innovative not only in the topic, but also in the methodology, insofar as it rests on the most advanced computer technique in order to show manuscript images, and it also relies on a very tight teamwork made of persons of different competencies and nationalities. Okay, the historical paradigm of walls, bridges, and shaky grounds that we have observed in the case of Avicenna is still valid nowadays. Also, in our contemporary world, we see religions confronting themselves, we see politics waving among different uh, camps and choices, but nonetheless, there is a common culture which unifies all these different areas. Well, I have discovered that I must become a new type of scholar after this project. I need the help of economists in order to explore the diffusion of manuscripts along the Silk Road and the Spicy Road. I need 
more substantial help from computer scientists in order to perform research on manuscripts, I need the help of neuroscientists in order to understand better which is the relation between text and images in Arabic manuscript. I need to perform a real peer team work in which I am an expert all, only on one field and I cooperate tightly with experts in other fields. I think that the best judge of my work is not my mother or not my children, but is my best friend. He appreciates my devotion to profession. He sees in me the same attempt to turn the, the side towards the future and the attempt also to do something useful for society.